Hey everybody, Randy Kurtz here for the ISB. So this month I would like to talk about something called TMJ or temporal mandibular joint dysfunction, which is essentially pain in the jaw on the side of the face. Uh, this can be caused by uh, a number of different things. Trauma can be one thing, some kind of an accident or you hit your head or something wrong with your teeth or a misalignment of the jaw or uh, commonly grinding your teeth at night or clenching your teeth when uh, under stress or uh, posturally uh, non-optimal situations, uh, i.e. bad posture. Um, sometimes this pain can come and go, uh, but what it is is an inflammation of the joint here, uh, the mandible, the jawbone, temporal part of the skull. So this uh, opens and closes. If you look closely, you may or may not be able to see. I have a little bit of it. Uh, usually you can see that when I, when I uh, open or close the mouth like, like so. Go. You saw a little stutter there off to the side. Thankfully, this doesn't bother me all the time, and I don't really uh, worry about it or think about it or try to, quote unquote, have it fixed because it's not an issue for me. There's no pain there. It doesn't interfere with anything I do. And I think if that's the case uh, with you, it's probably best left alone until it is an issue. But uh, again, clenching when in a stressful position, uh, which can be certainly performance related, uh, whether or not there's something particularly um, stressful uh, with what you're doing, or just if that's it in general, or stage fright, or any one of a number of things can cause that clenching. So uh, what to do about it? Acupuncture can help out with this. Um, uh, warm or cold packs, they say, to the side of the face. It really depends on the situation. If you put the heat on, it can sometimes cause the inflammation that's there in that joint to increase. So you don't necessarily want that, but NSAIDs are usually good. Uh, those are, uh, can include, uh, excuse me, can include ibuprofen, acetaminophen, something like that, if you can take that. And also, um, sometimes adjustments are called for where you need to realign the jaw. Chiropractor can uh, do that. Uh, the muscles need to be relaxed a lot of the time. And there's muscles on the outside and the inside that attach to this joint complex and can cause problems. Sometimes a practitioner may need to go inside and work on the muscles there if just working on the ones outside don't do it. Again, a lot of times if those muscles are tight and they're causing the inflammation or the problem through the stress that we talked about, they need to be loosened up or the problem is either not going to go away or the relief you get through an adjustment or an acupuncture treatment will be short-lived because you need those muscles to relax a little bit. Uh, my advice would be whoever you see, uh, whether it be a dentist, and many times I'm finding dentists are farming the workout to, uh, to other practitioners, or a chiropractor or an acupuncturist or physical therapist, make sure that that person treats a lot of TMJ and knows what they're doing, uh, not just once in a while, but uh, does it um, on a, a more than random occasion. Always have it diagnosed uh, properly by a healthcare professional before treatment. Uh, especially in this case because jaw pain can sometimes indicate a, an imminent heart attack or a heart problem. So again, always good to have that diagnosed. Okay, that's TMJ, Randy Kurtz. Keep the suggestions coming. Hope you're having a wonderful summer. Always available www.drkertz.com, my website where my book, The Basis Guide to Injury Management, Prevention, and Health is available as an ebook as well as on Amazon or iBooks and the physical is still available from your situation. D-R-K-E-R-T-Z at D-R-K-E-R-T-Z dot com is my email. Uh, keep the suggestions coming and that's it. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.